Hey guys, we're back here at the Homemade Pizza Guru. As promised, we've got our special guest Eric Larson on this Friday night to do his Reuben pizza. Let me tell you guys, at a Super Bowl party recently, which you'll know if you see my blog post about this, this guy made some fantastic Reuben rolls. Like egg rolls, but had pastrami and sauerkraut. And how, how did you come up with that idea, Eric? It was just a random idea that came out of my head. I was like, you know what, spring rolls are delicious. Why not put some of this in there? And make it way more delicious. <laughs> and ever since he did that, we've been kicking around the idea about doing a Reuben pizza for the blog, guys. So here we are today, great. and we had to do some prep for this guy here at the show. We've even got some fried pickles going on on top of this. We got the full thing going on. Okay, so how are we going to start off today? We're gonna take this homemade Thousand Island dressing that I came up with, which you gotta use nice. the pickle juice to make it proper. So we're gonna put All that right, on so first. So as the sauce, Skip's gonna be the expert. We're using the Thousand Island. I'm just gonna do the sauce for him here today, guys. Oh yeah. Oh, and okay. I've been craving this one, Eric. This one I have been waiting for. I have two since you talked about it. Since you brought it up and brought the idea, <laughs> this sounded like a delicious pizza. I gotta go with the two. All right. So what kind of cheese is we going to put on this Reuben pizza so here today? We've got some amazing provolone. we got some Havarte. We're actually using a bacon cheddar in there as well. Ooh, with a little bit of mozzarella. Let's see how this bad boy turns out. <laughs> Sounds good. Let's we'll see how it turns out. So we've got to put lots of provolone on this thing. Don't ever skip out on cheese on pizza. Don't ever skip out on cheese. Unless you're a vegan, then you shouldn't be eating pizza anyway. <laughs> You're definitely not going to be eating this pizza. <laughs> Thanks for joining us again, guys. We're just recovering from the Slap Your Mama Cajun pizza that Ooh, we just did earlier. Delicious. Now we're doing the Reuben and still the drunken pizza later to come. So let's get this going here a little bit. Now what we're going to do here, guys, is don't be afraid to put stuff in in layers. The fried pickles are kind of already cooked, so we're not going to put them on right now. We're going to just do the sauce and the cheese. We'll put the meats and the sauerkraut. All right, a little mozzarella, a little more provolone. Let's grab that Havarte. Yeah, throw a little bit of that. in there, absolutely. Oh. There we go, guys. Make it a little bit pizza. Like I can't open a bag of cheese. <laughs> ha! <laughs> <laughs> I've got a couple right. slices of this, but that's all right. The Havarte cheese doesn't go. need a lot. And guys, uh, if you're following along at home here, I did pre-cook the dough a little bit. Just because I knew we were going to be putting a lot of stuff on this pizza and loading it up. So to ensure that the dough is cooking all the way through, you want to kind of pre-cook it just a little bit. Alright. So I think what we're going to do here is we're going to keep topping this pizza. Like so. Some amazing toppings, And then we're going to put it back in. And we're going to take it out just before it's done and add the fried pickles. So, And Eric and I, we've had a lot of pizza parties together. Ooh, so yes, we have. Have you ever done a Reuben pizza? This is the first time. Me. me and this guy, we've made a lot of pizzas together. I'm not sure we've ever done this one before. So you're going to have to stay tuned. We have a small live studio audience uh, that's going to see us eat Surely. this wonderful pizza. Lots of cheese. More on their way. Don't forget the cheese. <laughs> Some sauerkraut on there. Absolutely. All right. Get some fresh sauerkraut. So Eric's gonna throw some sauerkraut on this pizza, and it's gonna go in the oven. And then uh, stay tuned because we're gonna take it out and we're gonna eat this thing and keep this night rolling. Uh, thanks once again, guys. Here at the homemade pizza guru.